here's a story from a distant star about a planet called Zaponia, where the people cried and shook with fear, because the land was gone, the end was near. On an urgent mission to put it right, brave young Ziggy, day and night, searched through space, till in view, came a spinning world of green and blue. Welcome to Ziku's Earth Adventure! And this is where it all begins in a world of science and earthling friends. Welcome to the latest breaking news from Zarponia, where our Zoggle team has returned victorious from the intergalactic Zoggle Olympics. Super scorer Zap was greeted by an excited crowd as he stepped from the Zoggle pod and said to his fans, Xandor calling Ziku, come in Ziku. Uh, oh, uh, actually, that's not what he said. We interrupt this broadcast instead with a message from Councillor Xandor. Zaldi, Xandor! Zaldi, Ziku! Oh, Zingarin Zagarini! What on earth is that? Are you attending a Zoga match? What? Where? On your face? Ooh, it's sunscreen. Molly said I have to wear it when we're playing outside because it's quite warm at the moment. This protects my skin, especially because we experience different heat on Zarponia. But I'm not sure what she means by she thinks it looks cool. Uh, why don't you just stay inside like we do? Boy and I are planning to cycle to the shop. This works as a protective layer. Protective layer? Hmm, interesting. Hmm, Ziggy, your mission for today is... Zap it to me, Zandu! We noticed that the Earth is surrounded by something called the atmosphere. We want to know what this is and what it does. Since you mentioned protective layers, we suspect that it is there to help protect the Earth against harmful rays because our broadband radio sonic waves have bounced off it. So that's why I didn't receive my Zorgo scores. Atmosphere? Zoki Doki, over and out. Zillion, search Earth directories, please, and find out what is atmosphere. Done as we speak, our controller Zico. Ah, Earth is surrounded by a layer called the atmosphere. This layer consists of a mixture of gases which form the air that we breathe. I'll need more information. Activate Zoom. See you later. I'm off to Boyne's house. Activate Zoom. Zai Zai! Do we need to, Ziku? Zoom always brings back so much unwanted information, and lately she seems to have developed a fondness for something called motor cars. Yes, I know your job is to observe local culture, but do you have to embrace it so much? Yes, fine. See what pictures you can find to show the Earth's atmosphere soon. You gave me a fright and nearly jumped out of my skin. Zaldi Boogie, I didn't know you could do that. Can you please show me how you jump out of your skin? Well, I can't. It's just a way of saying that you gave me a fright. <laughs> what a funny thing to say. But it would be really funny if you really did jump out of your skin. So <laughs> would you. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm very excited for our trip to the shop. Me too. I just had to fix a punch on, on Bali's tire. I think that's the only reason she let us borrow it. Let me finish pumping. Pump up the tire? With what? I'll fill it with air, Ziku. Oh, what we find in the atmosphere. That's my mission. I need to find out about the atmosphere, what it is, and why it's there. What I know so far is that the atmosphere is a layer that surrounds the Earth, which contains a mixture of gases which forms the air that we breathe. But when I look up into the sky, I can't see anything. How do you know it's there? Sometimes you can fill it when the wind blows. Oh, yes! <laughs> See, you can feel it. Look at this bicycle tire, it's flat. But when I pump it up, look. Now feel it. This is rock hard. So that means I'll be riding on air to the shop. <laughs> we learned about this at school. I can show you a really neat trick 
to show you that we surrounded by air. Salvi! Tricks are fun! I'll be back shortly. Come, Ziku, come and see. It's exciting. Ta da! Behold this is Bonnie the Fantastic. You see, Ziku, I'm going to take this book and put it on top of this plastic bag. Then blow air inside. I bet, Ziku, I can lift this book up without using my hands. So we hurry! Like this. I need to show this to Zado. Hey, Ziku, it's getting late. Come, let's go. Okay. <laughs> How do you switch this on? Ziku, haven't you ridden a bicycle before? Many times. <laughs> I'm yeah, they call me, but bicycling. I'm just a bit rusty. Who's the guy that I help you? <laughs> This was exciting, Boggy. I could feel the air switching by as we go up the hill. Just remember, Ziku, we have to go up that hill on our way home. I was breathing so hard that I thought I was going to breathe up all the air in the atmosphere. What would happen then? If there was no air left on Earth, then everything would die because all living creatures use air. Plants, animals and humans. Then I think we better take a taxi home. This hill looks like it's going to take up all the air. I don't want to be responsible for everything dying. Don't worry, Ziku. I think there's enough air that we really don't need to worry about. What I wonder is where all the air comes from. We can find that out later. But first, I need something to drink. Phew. Mattresses when we go swimming at the dam. That's great. Well, I think it's time to go home now. Do we have everything your mother wanted? Yes, except for some meat from the butchery. Perhaps you can go and speak to Professor Green while I go and get some meat. Maybe he can help us with that question why we don't run out of air. Sookie so dokie, that's a great plan. Please tell me he loves Sammy flat. Shh. Is he good? We're still going to circle up that hill. But hey, he lives around the corner. I'll show you. Cillian, activate Zoom. Zoom is on her way. That was a clever trick that Bongi showed you, Ziku. He has shown us that air fills up space like it did in the empty packet, as well as in your balloon and the bicycle tire. We also know that air is important to all animals that need to breathe the oxygen in the atmosphere. Their lungs fill with air every time they breathe in. Okay, Ziku, I'm ready to receive your broadcast from Professor Green. Salty, Professor Green! Oh, 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 good afternoon. Good afternoon. What the dickens happened to the morning? Well, I think the same thing that happens every day. It became afternoon. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That, that, that makes sense. Yes, I dare say you're quite right. Yeah. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, my friend Bongi said that you might perhaps be able to help me with some research. I've already learned that the Earth has an atmosphere that's made up of different gases. 
Oh, yes! Oxygen and uh, nitrogen and uh, carbon dioxide. Oh, I'm just busy with an experiment. <laughs> um, these gases, oxygen, gingerine. Oxygen. Uh, and nitrogen? <laughs> nitrogen. <laughs> yes, nitrogen, nitri, no, all these gases make up the air in which living things need in order to survive. Oh, yes. Well, if all living things need air in order to survive, and they keep breathing it in all the time, then why don't we run out of air? I see, that's what's troubling you. Well, oh, it's quite remarkable, actually. You see, plants, animals, and humans share the atmosphere, so they help each other. So we, how we? Well, we know that uh, animals and humans breathe in air. Now, one of the gases in the air is oxygen. Another gas is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide. Very good. You see, when humans breathe in the air, using their lungs, their bodies take in some of the oxygen. And when they breathe out, one of the waste products is carbon dioxide. Now, we have all this carbon dioxide in the air. You see, plants are exactly the opposite. Plants don't really breathe. So what they do is they take in the carbon dioxide and release oxygen. I see. So you mean that plants and animals look after the atmosphere for each other? Yes, you see, one depends on the other. I mean, I mean, uh, one depends on the other. So we, we breathe in oxygen and plants give off oxygen. So that means that plants are very important to us because they prevent the air from running out. Yes! So important that they have even called the forests and the jungles of the world the, 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 the Earth's lungs because they put so much of this oxygen back into the atmosphere. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the information, Professor. Can I please help you with the experiment? Oh, yes. Oh, what fun. Now, here, here's a couple of straws. You can take one of those. What you have to do is blow the ball in from that side into this area and stop me blowing it from this area into that. What do you say? What a strange experiment. Some people call it blow football, but I prefer to think of it as testing the effects of wind on the globe. Ready? Hey, Zuku. So did Professor Green help you? Oh, yes. He explained it all to me. We breathe in air and plants breathe out oxygen. So as long as you look after the plants and Earth, Earth will never run out of oxygen. What a relief. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, Ziku, it looks like it's going to rain. Come, let's hurry up. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, Ziku, just in time. How did you know it was going to rain? I saw the clouds. Clouds? Is that those funny white things in the sky? What are they made of? Clouds are all parts of our atmosphere. They're made of tiny, tiny drops of water that are in the air. I didn't know that there was tiny droplets of water in the air. Look what happens when I blow on this window pane. See? Look, flakes. It's all misted up. Do you know what mist is? Tiny droplets of water. We cannot see the tiny little droplets of water in the air until they cool down and form big droplets of water like mist or clouds. Hey, Ziku, sometimes they get very big and heavy that they fall on Earth as raindrops. When it freezes and gets cold, they fall on Earth like hail or snow. I see. <laughs> I do. Bless you. I do. And again. I don't know why I'm sneezing. This doesn't usually happen. There must be a lot of pollen in the air. Bless you. <laughs> Huziku, I think I should go away. It isn't so dusty. Come, pass me that packet. I want to go and show it to Mom. Bye.
Hi, Zuku. I'm glad to see you followed my advice about the sunscreen. I didn't think I need it anymore in the rain. I can understand why we don't want to get wet in the rain, but why do we need to protect ourselves from the sun? Well, the sun's rays can be very harsh and you don't want to get burnt. I didn't know that the sun's rays could be harmful. Oh yes it is, but luckily the Earth's atmosphere acts like an umbrella or even like an invisible blanket and it protects us from most of the harmful rays from the sun. But why do we need to wear sunblock? Well, unfortunately the Earth's atmosphere can't filter out most of the harmful rays and it is also being damaged so sometimes the harmful rays can get through. How terrible! How? Well, from gases from factories and cars, they damage our atmosphere. This means that the atmosphere is not as good a shield as it used to be and the harmful rays from the sun can get through it. So that's why we need to wear sunblock and try to keep out of the sun on very hot days. So that's why the atmosphere is very important. Mm-hmm. We have to look after our atmosphere because it acts like a blanket, remember? Keeping in all the warmth from the sun at night and keeping out the cold. Zeeting Zigabuff. So even though we don't see it all the time, the atmosphere contains a mixture of water vapor as well as small amounts of dust and pollen. I need to report to Zandal now. See you later, Mali. Thank you for all the information and for the bicycle. Bye. Bye. Receiving information. Calling Zandal. Come in, please, Zandal. Zoudi, Zigu. I see you have succeeded with today's mission. Well done. Yes, Councillor Zandal. I have important information on the Earth's atmosphere, and Zillin is ready to transmit. Let's see what you have achieved in today's mission. Zap it to us, Zillian. Ziku has discovered that the Earth's atmosphere is important because it contains gases which humans, plants and animals need in order to survive. When humans breathe in air using their lungs, their bodies use some of the oxygen in the air and when they breathe out, one of the waste products is carbon dioxide. Plants take in carbon dioxide directly from the air and release oxygen. In this way, plants and animals help each other to survive. Plants and forests are especially important because of all the oxygen they put back into the atmosphere. There is also water vapor in the air, which when it condenses, forms droplets in the clouds and falls to earth as rain. When it is very, very cold, the droplets freeze and become solid and fall to earth as hail or snow. There are other solids in the atmosphere, like smoke and dust and pollen. The atmosphere also protects humans, plants and animals from the harmful rays of the sun. The atmosphere is like an invisible blanket that keeps in and holds the warmth from the sun. Hmm, I can see just how important the atmosphere is for life on Earth. And our scientists will certainly investigate ways to use this information to improve life on Zaponia. Well done, Ziku, and please thank your Earthling friends for their help. Soki dokey! Prepare to send information. Data drives engaged. Uploading files. Coordinates ZZZZZ. Completing transmission. Upload successful. Over and out. Zowie! Mission accomplished. Zia Zoon, Zillian. Ziga Zoon, Zoon. Good night, good Earth. Good luck, brave Zarponia.